Hello, I'm Alan Ovens. I'm one of the program chairs for the 2014 Castle Conference. I thought I'd put a little um, instructional video together to help people who are doing some reviews for the castle. The Easy Chair system is a little bit tricky and I don't want people to get lost, so hopefully this video will show you some of the steps involved. The first step is that you'll receive an invitation. So if I shift my screen out of the way here, you'll see a very typical letter. I've set myself up as um, a possible reviewer. I've called myself David, and I've just received this letter um, from Alan Ovens uh, asking me to review a paper. And um, in order to get to that paper, I'll click on this link down here. That link will take me through to the review request. Uh, and you'll see here the sub submission information, the title of the paper that I'm looking at. If uh, you scroll down a little wee bit, you will see um, the response, the ability to respond, uh, and you've also got the ability over on the top right hand side here to download the submission if you'd like to have a rebit before making the decision. Uh, if you agree to review the submission, then you just click and you write me a quick note saying yes happy to do that and then you um, select and send the message. Once you've accepted then I suggest you go back to the Castle Conference uh, website. So let me just shift my uh, window over here and this is the Castle Conference 10 website castleconference10.com and uh, across the top of the bars here you'll see the different possibilities and there's a page here for re the reviewers so if you click over there you'll see a video and the possibility of downloading a review sheet if you download that review you'll get a proposal review sheet and this will be useful for um, if you're offline being able to read the proposal and it's got the significant sections that you're going to have to make some decisions about so once I've downloaded the proposal review sheet, it's possible to uh, set that up. So that's on one side of my screen, and here's the proposal itself. I can set that up on the other side of the screen, drop, drop me down a little wee bit. And then I, I can go offline, and I can begin to review this. I read through the proposal carefully, and then use the proposal review sheet as a bit of a guide about making decisions about the, the context of the study, the aims and objectives, the method, um, deciding whether it's a self-study or not. And at the bottom of the review sheet, I can also type in um, some comments back to the author that's going to help them um, when they come to uh, revise the proposal into a longer paper. So um, when I have done that, and this can all be done offline in my, offline in my own time, then um, when I'm ready, I can then upload this as uh, my submission. I think the easiest way to do a submission is to go back to the Castle Conference website, go to the page which is the call for proposals, and even though it says that it's closed, you can always go down the bottom and click on submissions, and that'll take you through to the Easy Chair logon site. So if I log on under my name as the reviewer, like this, and sign in, that'll take me through to the page where most of you people have been uh, with respect to <coughs> submitting a paper. And from this site, um, because I don't want to be an author, I need to change my role. So go to the Castle 10, that menu there, pull down that menu and go to Change Role, and then it gives me the option of being the author or a sub-reviewer. So now I click on Sub-reviewer. When I click on Sub-reviewer, the uh, menus up here change, and I've suddenly got the uh, requests, the review requests that I've been asked to do are up here. And uh, you can see currently that I have been given four to do. And the one that I'm currently reviewing is number 94. And if I click on that, it'll take me through to uh, that page. That, we, <coughs> that will take me through to this page here. So I see, and I double check that the title of the paper that I'm reviewing is the one that I've got my review for. 
You'll see the original email sent from the program committee asking you to do this. And over on the top right here, where you see my the little hand pointing, you'll see some menus over here, some links that you can click on. And um, you can once again download the submission. Uh, you can download a review form, which I don't think is particularly helpful, but you've already got one. Um, or you can submit the review. When you click on submit review, it'll take you through to this page. And from this page, you can upload your review. Now, if I just shift my uh, uh, picture over a little wee bit and um, shrink the size of the window down here, you'll see that it's quite sneaky that uh, I have got uh, my review sheet handy here. So if I go back to the review, I check that the, the paper is the right one that I'm reviewing. It is. And then uh, I've given my overall evaluation. And I think this is worth accepting. It's not a, a wonderful paper in my view, but it's worth accepting. And then I look at my own experience in self-study and I rate myself how confident I am that uh, in my review. And then I go down to some of the judgments that I've made here. The context provides clear rationale uh, over here. I've given that a two. And I get through to this point here. Now, the advantage of the review sheet at this point is I can now select this. All of this information here. And I can just cut and paste it straight in uh, as feedback. And then uh, if I want to write something here, I can write something confidential just back to the program committee. So once I'm ready and I give it one final check, read through that I'm happy with the review, then all I need to do is submit that review, clicking on the bottom down there, and then I'll get uh, a review submitted and um, and that is it. Of course uh, there's always questions and I'm very happy if anyone wants to email me um, with any questions if you find it, if you've got encountering some issues or anything then please don't hesitate just get in contact and all the very best with the reviewing process.